guys, so because it is now March, I'm going to be doing my February favorites because if you don't know what a February, not just a February, but if you don't know what like monthly favorite videos are, it's basically where you do a video about your favorite products of the previous month. So now since February is the previous month, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites for February. So I'm very excited about this one because I have some awesome products that I want to show you guys. So if you film a February favorites, leave it as a video response below or just leave a comment telling me your guys' favorites because I want to know so I can check them out. Okay, so I think I'm ready to show you guys what my favorites are. So the first one is a foundation that I tried out in the month of February and I didn't think I was going to like. Yeah, I judged the book by its cover. Um, it is the L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle Foundation because a lot of cream foundations that I've tried don't work well, but this one works so well. So it comes in like this glass container and I got mine at Target. And this is what it looks like. So it kind of just looks like a souffle pretty much. So mine is in the shade Nude Beige. And I tried this out for the first time with like a little buffing brush. And I buffed it into my skin and it looks so amazing. It looks like you got your makeup professionally done because it's like this flawless finish that's so beautiful. And it blends really well too. Like let me just get some on my finger. Okay. I have some on my finger and I'm just going to put it on my hand. Okay, so I just swiped it on, and when you start blending it in, look it. It's like, it's already instantly blended in. That is crazy. It leaves you with this really nice flawless skin that looks amazing. So, I was very impressed with this, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you are looking for a good, inexpensive foundation. My next favorite is my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I mentioned this last month, I think. I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite face powder that I've ever, ever owned, and it has the little sponge at the bottom. Oh, that's dirty. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love this and you guys are sitting on Twilight again because Bethany hasn't got a tripod yet. But I really love this powder. It's so like smooth and soft and I just like to set my foundation with this or sometimes I'll just wear this like I'll get a buffing brush and just kind of put a little bit on my skin and that's it. It has really great coverage and it's definitely worth the money. Um, the next favorite is the Maybelline One by One Mascara. Oh my gosh, I love this. So I have been wearing this mascara like almost every day since I got it. I'm wearing it right now. And I really just love how it looks. So the brush looks like this. It's like super round and cool looking. And I just think that this is one of the most amazing mascaras I've ever tried. Um, I know last month I said that the MAC False Lashes Mascara was my favorite mascara and I didn't think anything could top it, but this mascara did. Something that the MAC False Lashes Mascara didn't do is it didn't really make my lashes look full and thick. It kind of just made them look really long, but this one, it like makes them long, it makes them thick, it makes them volumized, I don't know. It just kind of does everything for your lashes and it is crazy amazing. Like literally out of all the mascaras I've tried I have to say this is one of the best and I really really mean that it's awesome and I'm definitely going to repurchase this and the packaging is super cool too it's like bright it's not even showing up as bright as it is in person but this is awesome I think it's like five dollars and I recommend that you all try that. Um, my next favorite is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. And I've been using this a lot lately because it's so simple. I really have been into the liner on my upper lash line, as you can tell. And this one, I basically just swipe it from the inner corner to the outer corner, and I'm done. So it's very easy, and that's why I've been liking it. Because I like gel liner, but I feel like it takes forever, and then I'm like doing really good, and then all of a sudden my hand will just jerk and I'll mess up. And I don't really do that with this, and it's just great. And you can just like shake it up if you need more product, and... It's really awesome. So that's what it looks like if you were curious. Um, and also it's waterproof so it stays on all day but it's not hard to get off at night. So it's a great liner and it's one of my favorite liquid liners so I really like this. Okay so my next favorite is eye curlers and it's really funny because I used to be terrified of eye curlers. You guys have no idea. Like I just hated them because I always felt like they were going to like I don't know, do something to my eye. I felt like I was going to poke my eye and be traumatized forever. I don't know. I just hated eyelash curlers, but lately I really just loosened up to it and I've been obsessed with it. Um, they make such a big difference on your lashes. Like, normally my lashes are like right here in the morning and when I use the lash curler, they like curl super all the way up to where my lashes are touching my eyelid. And this one is by Tweezer Man, if you're wondering. So I really love eyelash curlers. 
Okay, my next favorite is a blush, and this is by Rimmel. So this is in Pink Sorbet, and it is their Lasting Finish Blush. And I've been wearing this like almost every day. I'm wearing it right now. It's basically just this really soft pink color. And I wouldn't really expect this to be one of like my favorite blushes because I have a lot of different ones. But this one has been standing out a lot to me in the month of February. I just take like a blush brush and just go all the way up to my temples with it. And I think it looks very like kind of natural looking but really pretty. And it gives you like a glowy look. So this is awesome. And it was only like $4. And I love the little crown in it. It's super cute. But I think the product overall is really great. It stays on for a while. And it's very, very pigmented too though. Like look at that. My next favorite product for February is kind of like a rediscovered product that I bought back in summer and never really used it. It is Posy Tint by Benefit. And it's not the Benetint. Benetint is the red one. And this is the like fluorescent pink one. Look at how adorable that is. And let me just tell you guys, it's not that bright when you put it on your lips. It kind of tones down a little bit. But it's basically just like a liquid lip stain that you put on your lips and it stays there for a while so you don't have to reapply it like lip gloss or lipstick and I just love the color it's so unique like I've never seen a color like this before like that fluorescent pink color I've never seen anything like that so I really like this and it smells super good and I think this is a really great like spring color to wear on your lips Oh, and I have another lip product. This is the MAC Lip Gloss in Hot House. And I have been wearing this a lot lately, actually. But I haven't worn it in videos because I know it's super bright. And I knew people would probably be like, oh my gosh, Bethany, that does not work on you. You need to stop wearing that right now. But, yeah, so that's why I didn't really wear it in videos. But off camera, I've been wearing it a lot. And I really, really love it. So it's like this kind of bright, like, fuchsia hot pink color. And it's not super bright when you put it on. Like, I have it on right now, but it's kind of wore off, so you don't really get the full effect. But I think it's the perfect combination of, like, a bright, fun lip gloss while still being, like, wearable. So it's not, like, super crazy. Like, look at my lips, you know? Um, so I just really like this. And it has tones of purple in it as well, and I love purple lip gloss. I know it sounds weird, but it looks really pretty on your lips, and I've just been in love with this. It's a really nice like spring summer color. Like I'll wear this with natural makeup and then just have this on my lips and it just looks so cute. Okay my last favorite beauty product is like a scent. It's from Bath and Body Works and I've been wearing it a lot lately. It is the Secret Wonderland scent and I got this little set for Christmas and I have been obsessed with it lately. So as you can tell I've used a lot of the body wash. It's kind of wet because I used it this morning but um, I have the body splash and the body cream, and I also have another body splash and a body lotion. Like, I got so much of this scent for Christmas last year. It's supposed to smell like strawberries, frosted jasmine petals, and white amber. Um, and it kind of smells like all those things. It's definitely very floral, but I don't know. It just smells like really good and like crisp, but... Mm, it's so good. I, I can't even explain it very well, but it's an awesome scent and it stays on like all day It's amazing and it's been like my signature scent lately So I really love that scent from Bath and Body Works and if you want to try it out I think you can get like the mini sizes just to see if you like it or not, but I like it So I got the big sizes <laughs> Okay, so those are all of my beauty favorites now on to my non-beauty favorites the first one I think you guys can guess it's a book Can you guess already? Because you know what book I've been loving. Beach Blondes. Yes, I love this book so much. And I actually have been really busy lately, so I haven't had time to finish it. As you can tell, I'm almost finished, but I've kind of had to take a break from reading because I've been, like, super busy. Um, but I really just want to sit down and finish this whole book and finish Tan Lines as well. Because this is just an amazing summer book. It's my favorite, and I would recommend you guys to all check it out. It's just an amazing book. And another one of my favorite books is the Lauren Conrad Style Book. Um, I really love this for getting inspiration for videos. Like, there's like so many tips on like everything. There's like nail polish, hair. My next non beauty favorite is crop tops. And I don't have one to show you guys right now. But I've been in love with crop tops. You can check out my latest haul video if you want to see some of the ones that I just recently got. Um, I just think that they're so cute and they're really great for summer to like wear over a bikini or you can wear them with like jeans. Um, and a lot of people ask me how I wear them. If it's a really short crop top, then I'll wear like a like tank top underneath it. But if it's kind of long and it just shows like a little bit of skin, then I'll just wear it without the tank top. But I'm normally like pulling it 
down throughout the day because I don't want to like show that much. Um, but yeah, if it's like super short and it goes to like, I don't know, like right there, then I will for sure wear like a cami underneath it. But I just think they're so cute and they're perfect for summer. And there's so many different designs and everything and you can wear them like off the shoulder. I'm just obsessed with crop tops. Okay, so I'm just like talking a lot right now. My other non-beauty favorite, I think that's it. Um, oh no! Oh my gosh, I've been loving Skinny Cow Fudge Bars. And they are in the refrigerator in my kitchen, so I don't know if I should go get them or not. Should I? I think I'm going to go get them really, really quick so I can just show you guys the box. Um, so just stay here really quickly. Well, it'll only be like a second when I edit this. Okay, so I'm back and I have the fudge bars here. I don't even know why I got them, but I just wanted to show you guys. So I've been in love with these Skinny Cow fudge bars. They have 100 calories in each bar and 1 gram of fat, 4 grams of fiber, and they are delicious. They taste just like regular fudge bars. So these are great if you're wanting to eat healthier, but you still have like your chocolate cravings and... You know, you want something a little bit sweet once in a while, so these are amazing. Oh, and they also have all these other different flavors, but I am a fudge bar freak, so I've been eating these a lot lately. Okay, and my last non-beauty favorite of the month is my favorite song of the month, and you guys know that I do this every month. So the song that I've been playing non-stop is She Will Be Loved, and it is by, I'm not really sure, hold on. It's by Maroon 5, and I have it on my iPod, but I don't really want to play it because I might get in trouble for like copyright, but it's by Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. I just think it's a really awesome song that kind of just states that, you know, no matter who you are, you will be loved by someone and someone out there will truly love you for who you are, so you don't need to change for anybody. I just really like the song and it's awesome, so I will have a link to that below so you can listen to it and tell them that... Mac Barbio 7 sent you. I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this February favorites video. And don't forget to post yours below or leave it in a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.